beauties welcome back to my channel so today I have a fall look for you and I am so happy to finally start recording regular tutorials again I was just kind of over doing Halloween tutorials it was kind of draining me with Halloween but I'm glad that it's over today I felt very green if you can't tell by my green shirt and obviously this green eye look I feel like I was kind of due with doing a green look on my channel because I haven't done a green tutorial in forever but enough blabbing I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial I use a ton of BH cosmetics products no I am not sponsored by them in this video but I just wanted to say that because you can get this exact look in an inexpensive way so without further ado let's get on to the tutorial okay so I've already applied my base to get things moving and now I'm gonna go into my modern mattes palette and I am taking that cool tone brown and I'm just going to apply that above my crease as my transition shade Next, I'm going into my Dark Rose palette and I'm taking that beautiful, beautiful emerald green and I'm actually gonna apply this wet so I'm gonna spray my brush first and then I'm gonna apply it straight on my lid all the way up to my crease. Here at first I'm just blending with a blending brush with no color on it but eventually I am going to go in with a green shade to help further with the blending. Now I'm taking my 88 matte palette and I'm going in with that dark forest green color. It's kind of similar to the lid color but it's matte and I'm just going to apply that above the lid color and help further blend it out because it needed a little help. Here I'm taking the transition shade and applying more of that because I felt like it was getting a little too green so I just wanted to bring a little more warmth to the look. Now I'm just patching up the lid color because we lost a little color from the blending. To add dimension to this look, I'm going in with my Foil Eyes eyeshadow palette and I'm going in with this really interesting color. It looks green on camera but it's like a green charcoal bluish gray color it's really really interesting and hard to explain but I'm just going in with that and I'm just going to deepen up the look on the outer V now I'm going in with my blending brush and just blending out that dark color and overall just making sure everything is nice and blended with no harsh lines Next I'm taking my highlight shade and I'm going to apply that on my brow bone with my blending brush because it not only applies the highlight shade, it also blends it into the entire look all at once.
Now I'm taking these lashes and I'm just going to apply them and then we'll get on to finishing the rest of the eyes. After lashes, I'm going into the Foil Eyes palette and I'm taking that really, really shimmery light green. It's basically in the same color family as the lid shade, but just lighter. I'm just going to apply that on my inner corners. Now I'm taking my pencil and I'm just going to put that on the waterline and tight line and smudge it on the outer corners of my lower lash line. I've been doing this lately. I feel like it really brings a lot of dimension to the look. To smudge out that liner, I'm going in with that dark forest green color that I use to further blend the lid. I'm just going to apply that on the outer corners. And then with the remaining lower lash line space, I'm just going to apply the lid color in that little gap. Now I'm taking my liquid liner and just lining the inner corners to make my lashes look more seamless. I do this all the time, it really makes a big difference. And then I'm just going to apply my mascara on my lower lash lines and my upper lash line to further blend the lashes into each other. After that, the eyes are complete, and then we're going to move on to the rest of the face. I'm taking my Glamorous Blush Palette, and I'm going in with that really dark, rosy color. And I'm going in with a heavy hand and just applying that on the apples of my cheeks. I go in with the heavy hand at first and then blend it out with a stippling brush. I don't suggest you do that because it takes a little more time, but I like to do it because, I don't know, I just feel like it gives me a better effect. Of course, I have to use my glow kit. I'm going in with the shade Bubbly, and I'm going to apply that on my non-existent cheekbones, my non-existent nose bridge, and my cupid's bow. For lips, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick. It's a brown tone, but it kind of has a reddish undertone to it. It's really, really pretty and perfect for fall, and I'm just going to apply that on my lips. And after that, the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really, really like how this look turned out. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, and thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.